Hey everyone, this is Helena, and I'm here with my very good friend and fellow coach, Chelsea Rose. Welcome, Chelsea. Hi. Hey, say hi in the chat. Let us know where you're watching from. We're so excited to connect with you guys. For those of you who aren't familiar with Chelsea, she is a love and feminine energy coach for women who teaches a pleasure-based approach to help women attract everything they want in life, love, and business. And yeah. we're super excited. We've been getting so many requests for a video on how to talk to a man about what you want and what you're looking for in a relationship. And Chelsea is the perfect person to bring on and talk to about this. She's a total oh. genius and expert in what to to say to a man. So what we're going to share today is going to actually be helpful no matter, you know, whether you're single and dating, maybe you're online dating or meeting a bunch of new men, or maybe mm -hmm. you've been dating a guy for a while, or maybe you're in a relationship or married to a man, or you've been together for a long time and you, you want more, right? More affection, more quality time, more commitment, maybe if you're not ex exclusive yet. So we're really excited. Hi to everyone joining. Thank you so much for saying hello in the chat. And yeah, we're just going to jump right in. Chelsea, is there anything you want to say before we dive in and I'm going to give an overview of the five areas or situations we're going to cover here too. Oh yes, totally. Um, yeah, I just want to start off by saying how excited I am to be here with all of you mm -hmm. and to talk about this topic because so many women are just so afraid to have these conversations. They go mm -hmm. into it feeling like they're going to get rejected. They go into it feeling like they have to walk on eggshells. And the, the first thing that I want to say is like the energy you come from is the most important thing, right? Like there's always an exception to every rule when it comes to this like dating game, right? And like what to say, what not to say. At the end of the day, the the most important thing, this is what I love Helene and I agree on so much, is like the energy that you're coming from, coming from yeah. this feminine energy. And what does that look like and what does that mean? And in summary, we'll get deeper into it in the five points, but in summary, it's you're coming from authenticity, you're being vulnerable, yeah. you're feeling in your body what you actually want, you're feeling your feelings and you're expressing from that place of, of feeling. And another, another, um, thing I wanted to say about that is you're expressing what you desire like that mm. that when you're connected to your desires you're kind of in that like magical playful energy right which is like your inner child almost like that's the feminine energy when you're connected to what you want and so the big thing here is to come from a, an energy of validating your own desires and feelings and not searching for that in the man you're talking to right mm, and so, so like you're at peace first and foremost with what you desire you're not in this place where you're like oh god if he doesn't give it to me i'm not going to get this or if he doesn't do it within this time frame it's not going to happen like you have to come from this place of solid faith mm -hmm. in in what you want and this energy of being unattached right to how and when and if it's this man or not if you're in the early stages right you're not in a committed relationship yet so i'm trying to see i'm kind of breezing through this actually i had so much yeah. I wanted to say but i think anything it's you great add? i think it's so great yeah i mean we've mm -hmm. talked about this before you know two different women could say the exact same script that you know some of these that we're going to share word for word the exact yeah. same way but have a different energy behind it maybe one's attached to the outcome or attached to it being with this one particular man and the other one is open connected right. to her desires trusting that she absolutely is going to have what she wants right mm -hmm it'll come across totally different, right? So I love yeah. everything you said. And uh, we have about 75 people watching in the first couple of minutes. So this cool. is great. I'm so excited to connect with you guys. If you have other questions, let us know in the chat. We'll get to as many as we can at the end. But the five situations that I've been getting the most questions about that we wanted to at least start with here today are if you're online dating, right? What to put in your profile about what you're looking for. The second situation is how to respond when a man asks you what you're looking for, if you're dating or just getting to know each other. The third situation is how to bring this up if you've been dating a man for maybe a few weeks or a few months and you're not sure what he's looking for. You don't know if you're on the same page. The next situation is what to say if you're already in a relationship. Maybe you're exclusive with this guy and you have no idea that if whether he and or not he wants to get married or have some kind of deeper level of commitment, you're not sure about the timeline and you want to see you know, whether or not the two of you have the same vision for your future. And number five is if you're in a long-term relationship or married and you want more from a man, you want more out of a relationship, more affection, more quality time, things mm -hmm. like that, right? So 
Um, we're going to cover those. If you have other situations, let us know. We'll get to as many as we can at the end. So let's dive in, Chelsea. We wanted to kind of start with number one and number two are pretty similar. What to put yeah. on your online dating profile or how to respond if a man asks you what you're looking for. And of course, everyone's mm -hmm. looking for all different kinds of things. So we'd love to hear from you guys. But we wanted to kind of give you a template of something you can say or respond when a man mm -hmm. asks you this or what to put in your profile. So Chelsea, I'd love to hear everything you have to say on that. Good. Okay. So I want to start off by saying, you'll notice in this, I'll be talking about how I feel and also what I'm desiring, right? That kind of like mm -hmm. fantasizing energy is really light and magnetic. And so it can be really simple. Like it would feel great. Or I would love to find someone that I can have fun with, that I feel at home with, that I can go on adventures with, right? Um, it'd be great to settle down someday, you know, to build a life with someone, but you're not, you're not going from this energy of like, I want to meet the the man of my, or what am I trying to say? I want to meet the father of my children, right? Or like, I want to get mm. married within the next six months. So you see how that, there's like an attachment. It's overly specific to the point where it comes across as like this masculine energy. Mm. Of like, oh God, like even if everything else looks great, when it's that kind of like, um, I don't know how to even describe what that sounds like, but we can all feel it in our bodies. And it's kind of like, you want to think about, what would be magnetic to you to read on a man's profile? Like it doesn't yes. have to be that different actually. Um, like that would kind of be a turnoff, right? It would feel like, oh, I'm afraid. Like I feel like this person's gonna try to force me to be that for them. Or so just get... looking to fill a role, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Looking to fill a role, I love that. That totally is what it feels like when you hear that. Um, I think it's great, Chelsea. Yeah, I just wanna dive in and like jump off of what you're saying. What yeah. would you guys be more drawn to in a man's profile? You know, I'm looking for the, my wife and mother of my children, or <laughs> it would feel, it would be great. I would love to meet my soulmate um, and yeah. the person I really connect with and go on adventures or laugh together, right? And in the meantime, right. I'm enjoying everything life has to offer. Which one are you guys more drawn yeah. to? <laughs> and in <laughs> right? the meantime, I love that piece. Yeah, that final piece you reminded me of. In the meantime, I'm enjoying getting to know people i'm in, i'm living my best life like it's that again there's no pressure right it's the pressure that is repelling right that's not in mm. the feminine energy so i love that you added that last piece there i think it's great and you're saying the same thing you're not shrinking your desire down and going like yeah. oh maybe i want if like if you want to meet the love of your life and settle down great go ahead and say that right yeah. but there's a way to say it where you know if you're just saying i am dating with the intention to meet my husband and have kids like where is <laughs> it's you so dry. In that? yeah yes. there's no sexy gorgeous creature like where are you in that statement so you want to add some of yourself yeah. in some of your personal personality, some of your desires, how do you want to feel in this ideal relationship that you're about to attract, right? Right. I love that we're bringing it back to authenticity, feeling, and desire. Like that is the feminine energy. So we talk, I feel like I mentioned this, or we talk about this in every single live we do. Like we get to stop censoring ourselves as women mm -hmm. and realize that, that censorship works against us. So yeah. I hope you guys feel that freedom in that. Like you just get to be yourself with all five of these situations. You're being honest. That's, that's really yeah. it. You're just staying away from um, being attached or forceful or like, a, you know, trying to make it happen within a certain time frame or with a certain person. We're taking yes. that away. Cool. I um, love that. Yeah. So, so own your desire, uh, feel great about it. Don't shrink it down and just keep in mind, this isn't a big deal. It's, you know, like yeah. if you're online dating or if you're dating, getting to know someone, this is not a big deal. You don't need to stuff down what you want. You can go ahead and put that out there right away as long as yes. you're not attached to the outcome or attached to it being this one specific man or you don't even know that well yet, right? So yes. um, I love that. I think it would feel incredible to meet the love of my life and settle down one day, maybe have yes. a family, depending on what you're looking for, right? And in the meantime, I'm enjoying everything life has to offer or I'm having a great time getting to know new people. Fill yes. in the blank with, with how you feel because this has to be authentic and true to you, right? I love that. I love that. And it's reminding me of something I wanted to say at the beginning, which is like the sooner you have these conversations, the better. Mm. Like, I don't know why we were taught early on to like withhold this stuff from men and to just yeah. like not let them know what you're really looking for because you might scare them away. That's That couldn't be further from the truth yeah. because you're going to scare away the wrong men with with if you're coming from authenticity and feeling and desire, you're going to scare away the wrong men. You and you're want gonna... to scare away the wrong men. Yes. Right? You want to scare... <laughs> I love that. 
yeah, that's the yeah. mindset you guys get to have going into all these conversations. Absolutely. Not that on the first date, within the first five minutes, you sit down and like <laughs> grill a guy, right? It's, it's, and that's not feminine. Organically. Yeah. 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 Let it come up organically, which I think uh, leads us into our next point, how to yeah. respond when a man asks. Is that where you're going yeah, next? Exactly. Yeah. So first and foremost, like he's asking tell him right like here's literally the permission he's giving you to be completely blunt and honest right so it's very similar to the first one that we talked about in the dating pro okay can you guys hear me oh you cut out for a second but i can hear you now okay sorry about that mm, that's okay. um so it would feel great to find like a loyal loving man to you know build a life with right so you just spit it out say exactly what it is that you want and you're not saying that you want that with him. That's the difference here. Mm -hmm. You're not being like, so what, you know, like, is this going to be you or is this not going to be you? It's not <laughs> that at all. Yeah. Like you're, he's asking you a question, be totally honest, right? Like, um, try, I have some other examples here. I'd love to find a soulmate connection, someone I can see a long-term future with. Um, that's mm -hmm. what I'm looking for. And then you can throw it back to him, right? And you'd be like, what about you? Yeah. And it's just like so easy and natural. And it's like, why do these things have to be, so awkward and so hidden. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. A lot of times, women ask me, you know, how do I tell a guy that this is what I want? And I'm like, what you said to me was beautiful. You can just right. say that to him again. It's not a right. big deal. You don't have to walk on eggshells. So we'd love to hear from yeah. you guys. Let us know in the live chat, or if you're watching the replay of this, uh, let us know in the comments. What is it? Give us some responses that you could say. Let's say you're single and dating, and a guy asks, "What are you looking for?" Let us know what you're looking for. We can help construct um, little scripts yes. for you, right? So, I love that. how you want to feel? What you would love to do? Would you love to go on adventures? Would you love to relax on the weekends together? I mean, it's going to be different for everybody. So, yeah. I think that's great, Chelsea. Anything else yeah. you want to say on that one? Or are you ready to just, move on to the third point? Um, real quick, I just wanted to mention that something else too. Like when when you're waiting to hear what he's about to say, right? Like try not to interpret it as rejection if he ends up sharing that he's wanting something different than you, mm -hmm. right? Like that's another mindset piece that I meant to mention earlier that will serve you for these, for three and four as well, which we're gonna get into. It's like, it's just preferences, right? So don't take it personally. If you guys have different preferences, again, better to find out now yes. than six months down the line, right? Yes. <laughs> when it's it will feel thing. personal. It will feel Absolutely. personal if you wait. Yeah, yes. okay, cool. Stacy says road trips. Yeah. So it would feel incredible oh. to meet my partner in crime, soulmate, love of my life, yeah. whatever, go on road trips together, have fun adventures. Right. And in the meantime, what are you enjoying? What are you doing with your time? I think would be another yeah. fun thing to add there. Right. Um, yeah. I, I love that Chelsea. I'm loving everything you're saying. I love these very specific okay. scripts. So, um, number yeah, three, hopefully you guys. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Number three and number four are kind of, um, similar, similar. I believe the answer. So yeah. how to bring this up if you've been dating a man for a while and you aren't really sure what he's looking for and you've just kind of fallen yeah. into this thing where you're dating and you don't know where things yeah. are headed. Right. And number four is what to say if you're already in a relationship or exclusive with a guy and you're not sure, are you committed? Are you going to get engaged one day? Does he even want mm -hmm. to get married? Um, how would you have a woman bring this up in those situations? Yeah. Yeah. And here's the other piece too. It's like, you can be direct while also being in your feminine, right? So you can just say something like, you know, I'd love to know what your ideal you know, situation is. Like what's your ideal relationship look like? you know, mm -hmm. or like, mm -hmm. can, I, can I ask you something that's kind of vulnerable? Like what, you know, boom. And he says, sure. And you ask him, right. Um, and then you can say something like, well, something I haven't mentioned before is that I'm really, I'm really excited to find, you know, my soulmate love, or I'm really excited to find my partner in crime. Like you can also, if you guys skipped this part in the early days of dating, like mm -hmm. it's not too late to do it later on. Right. Yeah. Um, and so it'd feel good to know if we're on the same page. Like I just, I'm just curious, you know, where you're at. Yeah. Um, I love yeah. that. Just, I would love again, that. It's like, it's so simple, but when we're, we have all this fear, we complicate it and we think it's like some magic potion, you know, or like this magic sentence we have to say. I um, love it. I think, you know, and I love what you said too. If you're a little nervous bringing it up, just say that. Have yeah. that level of transparency and authenticity. I'm feeling a little awkward bringing this up. Part of me doesn't even want to say anything because I just I don't want to put pressure yeah. on the situation. But part of me would right. really love to know whether or not we're on the same page. What do you think? Is this a good time to talk about this? Like that level of transparency, right? Or I'm feeling yeah. a little silly even mentioning this because I feel like we're probably on the same page. But, you know, another part of me feels that it would, you know, I would just love to know what it is that you yeah. see for yourself in the future, something like that, right? I love it, I love it. Yeah, and that's super similar to this next one, number four. Um, 
what to say if you're in a relationship exclusive for a while and not sure if he wants the same level of commitment. Like it's really the exact same thing as number three. Um, yeah, like I'm curious, you know, what future you see for yourself, right? Like around love, like what's your ideal situation? Uh, it would be exactly the same, right? I, it would feel so good to me just to know for sure if we're on the same page or not. Um, mm -hmm. When it comes to like our financial, or financial, romantic vision, is what I meant to say, <laughs> financial, where'd that come from? <laughs> that too, though, that could be another conversation for another day. <laughs> yeah, I know Chelsea works with women in their businesses too. So it's all, right. that's actually all related. All of this is like so related. These tips can work, you know, talking to business partners, things like that too. It really works in all areas of your life, making sure you're on the same page, so right? True. Yeah. yeah, and just like re just releasing this thought that like to be feminine means to be like, you know, overly mysterious and unclear and never yeah. saying what you want or like, we get to just kill that archetype of like yes. the voiceless beauty kind of thing or like the voiceless maiden. It's like, no, yeah. it's sexy to be vulnerable. And I love that we're talking about that. If any of these conversations make you nervous, like it is so compelling to a man when you say like, I'm really nervous about this. Like it's just, mm -hmm. they just melt in your vulnerability. And so let this be an opportunity to show that, right? Um, and that it's that vulnerability that a man falls in love with anyway. So, yes, I'm loving all the, these are some great questions. I don't know if you can see them or not Chelsea, but we're going to get to as yeah. many as the end. And by the way, I forgot to mention at the beginning, um, it, we have a, a couple spots that opened up. If you want to work with us personally in our magnetic mentorship circle, I know yeah. there's been a waiting list for quite some time for most of this year, but it, we were just yeah. opening it back up for a limited time. You can also get a hundred dollars off, right? No yeah. long-term commitments work, but with both of us personally get personally coached. That's the first link in the description. So just close the live chat. If you're watching live, click the title of this video. It'll open up the description. It's the first link in there. If you're curious about, you know, working with us personally with your unique situation. I know I get questions all the time like how do i have a conversation with you and this is actually the only way to do it the only way to work with me personally so um we will talk a little more about that at the end but i'm seeing some great questions here um when you work with us in the magnetic mentorship circle we can actually talk to you and open up your line and feel your energy yeah. and give you the exact thing to say um but i'm loving yeah. this question we'll get to these two at the end yeah cool i'm excited yeah thanks for remembering that we're so excited we love that space it's like the connection and the energy in this group is so beautiful. And like we, everyone's vibration raises after every single call in the magnetic mentorship circle. So we're so excited yes. to so welcome oh more of you into that space. It's with the us. best. Yeah. We can only take a couple people because like I said, yeah. we work with you personally. We want to give everyone a ton of personalized attention, but if you're interested mm -hmm. and there, you can still sign up. That means there's still room. I know these things tend yeah. to fill up really quickly, but join today if you're interested or let us know if you have questions about that. So that covers number three and number four, right? How to yeah. bring this up. So just to kind of recap that, if you're nervous, you can say, I'm feeling a little nervous or I'm feeling a little awkward mm -hmm. bringing this up. These last couple months have been amazing or this relationship feels amazing. Yeah. And it would feel good to know whether or not we're on the same page in terms of what we see for yeah. ourselves in the future. Something I, like that, did I have that right? Yeah, totally. And I wanna give that example that I told you about um, with Greg and I and something that mm -hmm. I had said there. We haven't mentioned this yet, but um, I love that you are into this idea too. Like you can also say what you don't want. Right. Mm -hmm. So in this kind of conversation for number four, you can be like, you know, I've I've loved our time together so far. And just like I I, I don't want to invest, you know, all this time, energy getting to know someone when when we might not be on the same page or like to just kind of start over another six months later with someone else. Like I, I'm really looking for blank or I'm you can kind of weave into this conversation what you're not looking for. And then when Helena and I were planning this this live stream together. I remembered something that I had said to my husband. Some of you guys might know my story, but my husband and I met in France and we ended up only being together for a couple weeks and then apart for two years where we stayed in touch, but we weren't in a relationship. And then once we were reunited, we basically got right into a relationship and like basically moved in together, <laughs> which I'm not saying I recommend to everyone, but it was a unique situation. So we had been together for a month um, and I needed to go back home here to California. And I remember one of the final conversations we had was like, I don't want to, I, I said to him, I don't want to go home technically single. Like I, I don't want to be mm -hmm. single going home. Right. Which in the moment I had no idea that that was like a strategy or whatever. <laughs> I was just being vulnerable because I was about to go home and we had, you know, 
had two years apart after kind of falling for each other the first time, but there was no label when I left the first time. And so I just was blunt and I just said like, I, I don't want to go home single. And I was like mm. crying and he was like, we just hadn't had that conversation yet. And so I was basically telling him like, this is what I need to feel secure right now. Right. And he was like, absolutely. Like, of course, like to him, it was like, was it not obvious that you're mine now, you know? Mm -hmm. So anyways, that was like a little example of where I was imperfect and vulnerable and basically just stated what I didn't want. And then it provided the opportunity for him to come up with a solution for what I was asking, right? Or for what yeah. I was feeling like, okay, yeah. this is what I don't want. Boom. What do you think? And then they can tell you what they think and they can solve it or they can tell you they don't want it, right? I so. love that. Uh, it's something very similar with me. I like just having some of these conversations. I remember with my husband early on, I remember saying something I don't want is, you know, I wouldn't want to like date someone for a year or two and then find out that you've changed your mind about what you want in the future or that we're yeah. totally on different pages. And he's, and just like your husband, he said, Oh, it's not gonna take a year to figure. He's like, I think we'll pretty much know what we want and where things are headed within the next couple months, you know, or within six months, he's like, you know, don't worry about it Go going a year and having us all of a sudden, you know, be on different pages. But that was just I that. something I didn't want. So when you're at this stage talking to a guy, this level of like intimacy, go ahead and tell him it's okay to say what you don't want. That's very different than on your online dating profile before you've even spoken to a guy saying yeah. um, no cheaters, no liars, no one word responses. Yeah. I mean, imagine seeing that on a man's profile, no gold diggers, no drama, yeah. no ex baggage, like, you know, talk about that. what you want. And, but as you get more into this and you've had some of these conversations, I think saying what yeah. you don't want is great framing it yeah. that way, being super vulnerable, right? Like I yeah. don't want to, you know, get invested and waste time and emotions on something that isn't going anywhere or something where we don't know whether we're on the same page. I think that's perfect. Yeah. I love that. And you can even use that in this next point, number five, about when you're in a long-term relationship or you're married, like I, I could imagine using that same strategy of like, mm -hmm. I don't want to be one of those couples who never you know, has like sexual intimacy. I know one of one mm -hmm. of those couples who like doesn't kiss each other hello and goodbye or who mm -hmm. doesn't blah, blah, blah. Like you can just say the vulnerable thing in that way as well, um, which I Love wasn't even that. planning on saying, but that totally works for this for this number five as well. I think Should that's we, great. Hello, yeah, I'm seeing a you? lot of questions in the chat that um, tie into number five, what to do if you're in a relationship and you want more of something, right? More quality time, more contact, more commitment, more affection. Yeah. Um, what's something a woman could say in that situation? I know you. this it's is like your time zone of this. <laughs> this is Chelsea's specialty. So if you're in this situation, um, this will help out a lot. Yes, totally. So first and foremost, you want to make sure that he's in the right state of mind and available and wanting to have a deep conversation, right? So mm -hmm. something that I do with my husband, and you can even over time learn, like, you know, I even at one point was like, what would you need to hear from me in order to know what kind of conversation we're about to have, right? And, he's, and I was like, does it work for me to say like, I, hey babe, I need to talk about some like um, something emotional. When would you be available? Mm. <laughs> so we kind of came up with like how he wants me to say it so that he's aware of like the level of depth that's about to happen. <laughs> I because love for that. men, right, because they're just, you know, this constant, they're like kind of a constant um, energy and we're like up and down and all around and they love that, right? It's like addictive for the masculine to be in that presence, but they need a little bit of warning and they also need to feel like they're consenting to having a conversation like that. Not just like, otherwise my husband has expressed to me, like he'll just feel bulldozed if I just show up and I'm like, we're talking about all this emotional heavy stuff now. And I'm not even going to ask you if you're available. Right. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of ranty, but first and foremost, make it clear that you have something important that you want to talk to him about. And you can say like, nothing's wrong. Don't worry. Nothing's mm -hmm. wrong. Right. Which is an Alison yeah. Armstrong technique. Yeah. So that's the first thing that you want to do is get his consent tell him there's something important you want to talk to him about. And then once he picks the time with you and you sit down, then let's continue from there. So once that's happening, you want to lead with appreciation, right? So something that I've said in the past is like, you know, you know that you and in our relationship is my highest priority in my life. Like starting out with something that's that vulnerable and real is like he he's gonna be all ears, right? And that was mm -hmm. authentic that was authentic for me. So you can start out by leading with appreciation, right? 
Um, so this is just totally an example, but okay, you know, you know, you and our relationship is the most important thing to me. That's why I'm craving spending more time together. Mm. Right? And it, it makes me so happy when we do because of that. Like, what do you, what do you think? Or, or, um, can you help me think of more ways that we can make that happen? Or like, can you th help me think of ways where that can be more of a reality for us on a daily basis, you know, and just like so good. sit back. So that would be an example, but you can insert whatever the thing is that you're wanting, but lead with that level of like, I don't know, kind of wearing your heart on your sleeve in that mm -hmm. way. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's just true versus when I've tried to make a request where I don't lead with like how important he is to me, how important the, the relationship is. It can feel like I'm just demanding something or complaining. Yes. <laughs> Whereas yeah. I paint the picture for him of like, this is, I'm asking this because you are so important to me and our relationship is so important to me. It's just that soft feminine energy that mm -hmm. makes it palatable. And then he can, and then you're insert to, or inserting the desire, right? And then you're saying how it makes you feel, how it would make you feel to get that. And then other simple phrases just to have that you can incorporate is like, what feels good to me is I'd love blank. What would make me feel so positive emotion fill in the blank. Um, lately I've been missing you or craving different. My screen keeps going black. Oh. I hope you guys can hear me. It just cut out for one second, but you're back. Okay. So you're good. Yeah. 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 So like lately I've been missing you or lately I've been really craving having dinner together or in a romantic setting. Like you can literally yeah. say whatever you want. Um, and then just, what do you think? What do you think? Like, yeah, that's you being unattached and open and handing it over and just letting him you know, problem solve, really. Beautiful. I love that so much. So here, let me kind of recap. Let me know if I have this right. So actually respecting his time, right? Don't do this when he's in the middle of work or watching the game or something, right? But, yeah. you know, is this a good time? I have something I want to share with you. Um, Kind of like, you didn't do anything wrong or it's not a big deal or something yeah, where, yeah. where you um, kind of tell him that it's not going to be some heavy thing where you're um, yeah. like placing a demand on him or complaining, right? Yeah. Saying this uh, relationship feels so good to me. It feels so good being with you or um, this is a top priority to me. And I just appreciate so much everything you do for me. And um, it would feel really good to have blank, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. More quality time, more affection, more whatever, more contact, more physical intimacy, maybe. And mm -hmm. what do you think about that? I'm curious, what could we do to work this out? So both of our needs get met or, or even asking yeah. him, like, are you happy with the level of intimacy? Is there something that, that, you know, you would like, yeah. and like making it more collaborative. I really found yeah. that when a man feels like he was a part of the solution, or it was kind of his idea too, to like build something together or work on this together, you're gonna get him buying in so <laughs> much more than just something that's like an obligation that you're telling him he should be doing, right? That's a really good point. I'm glad mm -hmm. you added that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good. A, an advanced level, but it's important too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's good. Me. I need to work on that one too. I mean, yeah. we, this is like a constant, <laughs> constant yeah. process for everyone. Such a good reminder. So yeah, those are the five kind of basic scenarios that we have. We would love to hear from you guys. And do you have time to get to some questions, Chelsea? Yeah. Okay, great. While I scroll up and look for questions, is there anything else you want to say about this or the magnetic mentorship circle? Anything else? Yeah. Let me just scroll up in the chat. I've been just keeping yeah. an eye on this as we go along. We have some great questions, but yeah, I'd love to hear anything else you have to say. Yeah, totally. So uh, for everyone here and watching the replay, like where we understand how, you know, it's easier said than done. Like what we're talking about <laughs> in this train, in this live stream is so much easier said than done. And we get like the nervousness and the fears. There's so much typically inner work that we have to work through in order to get to the place to even be able to effortlessly share what we want. Or once we're in this committed relationship, be that vulnerable, you know, putting your needs out there on the table. Like it's, it's so much easier often to like hide or we, we're tempted to hide and just like suffer in silence. And so we're so excited to offer this space in the magnetic mentorship circle where you can get your specific questions answered, right? Mm -hmm. And you can get that help really, really quickly <laughs> in these calls that we do. And so um, we're, we're just so excited to invite you into this space because not only do you get these live trainings with us with the Q&A where you can actually, we can unmute you and you can actually talk directly to us, but also you get access to our core curriculum where mm -hmm. we guide you through uh, such deep inner work to get to this place where you effortlessly have what you want in relationship with your ideal man. So yeah. we take you on this whole journey. It's 12 deep dive modules you have access to 
as a member inside the Magnetic Mentorship Circle, um, in addition to these live calls where you guys help pick the topics. Mm -hmm. um, like it's, it's just this whole customized experience um, we're so excited about. And one of the best parts about it is it's month to month. So you can stay for a month, leave, or just stay as long as you need. And then, you know, there's no strings attached and that's yeah. really rare <laughs> to yes. have a program like that. So we're so excited. So, um, and like Helena said, spots are really limited um, and there is a hundred dollars off sale going on right now just for a limited period of time. So when you go to the link, as long as it, you're like, it lets you click the enrollment button, it means we have spots available and we open and close at different times. So right now it's open. Mm -hmm. So definitely like click the link today if you're feeling called um, since spots are are always you know filling quickly yeah so, and, and i believe deal. if you join today you get that hundred dollars off yes. for as long as you are a member right so Correct. lock that in today if you want we'll lock yeah. it in yeah yeah so good i know we've had a waiting list for a while it's been closed we can't take too many people but we love yeah. i mean that is my absolute favorite part of the month it's like my favorite thing i do yeah. <laughs> is connecting with you guys personally and i just love being able to do that and you can just, just the shifts that women make can happen in 10 minutes of talking to us or a yeah. month month or two of going through the core curriculum or just a couple calls with, you know, Chelsea yeah. and I, and we've just seen so many transformations. It's, it's so unbelievable. True. Definitely yeah. read the testimonials. You yeah. guys, it makes me cry every it's time I read those. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So yes, if you have questions about that, let us know. Um, close the live chat, click the title of this video. It'll open up the description. I'll add it to the comments when we're done too. It just doesn't let me do that until we're done with this. So let's get to some questions. Val says my boyfriend of six months doesn't call me, even though I've told him it would feel great. How do I more firmly let him know I feel disconnected when he doesn't call when we're apart? Um, any question? I mean, any thoughts on this, Chelsea? Yeah. So Val, um, I know it's hard to do this when you're feeling maybe triggered or resentful, but, um, so if you're, if there's any of those kind of like emotions of anger, like you get to feel those feelings and validate them and then get to a place of vulnerability again. And then I would approach him from a place of vulnerability, right? And you can do exactly what we just did in this number five, right? Where you make sure he's available for like that kind of conversation. You tell him how much you appreciate him and that you like love being in a relationship with him. And, um, and then you just, you, you make the request, right? And sometimes when we feel like we've been asking for something over and over, it's like it we haven't had a direct conversation like the one we're describing in, in number five here mm -hmm. we've just said like oh that feels great and sometimes you know maybe they're not paying attention enough but usually when we when we like create the time to really sit down and, and say how important this thing is to us it's like now it's on the forefront of their minds and like okay like i realize this is this is a gap and i want to fill this for you mm -hmm. whereas if we just kind of drop hints sometimes it's not direct enough right yeah. So that's kind of what I'm getting. getting I love it. Of. Yeah. Make direct requests coming from your feminine energy and then see what he does. I mean, if yeah. you've really told him that this is something that's really important to you, it would feel really good to stay connected or hear his voice on the nights you don't see each other and he dismisses your feelings or he doesn't take that into account. I know you've only been dating him six months. You know, maybe he's not the kind of partner right. that is really ever going to, you know, take your desires into account when he's planning out his day and making decisions. So that's something to pay attention yeah. to as well. Yeah. I right, love like that. Make the request and then sit back and see, see like, what he does. What happens. Yeah. See what he does coming from a place of, is this the right match for me or not? Because, you know, I, I hear about this kind of thing all the time. And just because you're dating a man doesn't mean that he's signed up to meet all of your needs 100% of the time. That's what dating's for, right? Just to see, huh, is this going to be a good partner for me? Is this somebody that I potentially would want to settle down with and, you know, yeah. be that life partner? So make sure that, you know, make sure that your needs are getting met before you glue yourself to something for everybody. I think love that's that. so important. I love this question from Joanna. She says, for me, one thing that has been difficult is not having the outcome or result as my focus. How do we find the nuance between desire and result outcome? It's, I know <laughs> that's like our favorite question in the world. That's what we teach yeah. in the magnetic mentorship circle. I'm 100%. sure you have so many great things to say on this, Chelsea. My initial yeah. quick thought was just Joanna and everybody do believe that is is this something that happens for you are you going to get the love and relationship you want or the success you want in your career whatever your desire is do you actually believe that it's on its way to you it's right around the corner it's coming it's a done deal do you believe that would be my first question to you i wish we could just talk to you right now <laughs> i feel like we could help so much but chelsea any thoughts yeah. here i know you have some great things to say on this oh i love that you started with that yeah i'm i'm thinking the same way you are um 
because what I was going to say is like, this is why it's so important to have unwavering faith in the in the ultimate vision you have for your life for your love life in this in this case that's what allows you to remain unattached to the exact outcome in the sense of it having to be this man or it having to happen at this exact time right <laughs> so that's how we that's how we kind of have that um it feels like a paradox but it's the right it's the right come from which is i know that i'm the person who gets what she wants i know that the, the kind of relationship I have, I have that vision because it's meant for me. Like I know that's on my path. I know that it's coming. So when I'm talking to the guy I'm dating, I'm, I'm grounded in that vision. And then I'm open and curious to see how this man is presenting himself to me. Mm. I'm open and curious to see how this man makes me feel. How does he make me feel in comparison to my vision, right? And that is like, you're taking your claws out of him and out of strangling this relationship. And you're grounded in like what you know you get to have. And so it's normal to have our faith waver at times, but it gets to be a focus to build that faith, right? Mm -hmm. Where where it's like, it's just a part of your identity. Like Helena was asking that question. It's like, once it yeah. becomes a part of your identity that you identify as the woman who has the kind of love she wants, it is a done deal at that point. Yeah. And that's what allows you to be so unattached to what's happening right in front of you because you're so certain of the ultimate outcome. And then, you know, having that faith and that strength, you know, within yourself, that allows you to be open and feminine and receptive on the outside. If you are yes. not flooded with men after doing that, everything Chelsea just em embodied, you know, if you embody that, that true faith that what you want is on its way to you. So if a guy ghosts you, if he disappears, if he's not on the same page, that's a good thing. It's a good thing to let those guys fade away. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're just making room for the right guy to step up. Right. If that's your mindset, if you are not flooded with men, I would be shocked. Right. <laughs> this is just about tweaking your um, a lot of times it's your thought patterns and your mindset yeah. to get yourself to that place. That's exactly what we do in the magnetic yeah. mentorship circle. But I love that question. Even the fact that you're asking that it's like you're totally on the right track. Right. Yeah. Um, I got a lot of questions like this one. How do I tell my boyfriend of two years that we should see each other more? Hopefully that fifth yeah. um, script we shared was helpful. Chelsea, anything um, yeah. quickly you wanna say just to kind of plug this situation into that template? Yeah, yeah. So you can say like, again, appreciating him, appreciating the time that you guys have together. And you know, like what, I, what I'm really excited about is, is our future. What I'm mm -hmm. really excited about is having our relationship get better and better over time. And what would really make me feel like that and would really make me feel connected and happy would be to actually spend even more time together. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah. oh yeah, you know, it does sound good. I don't like, how can I, and then you can do like Allison says, like, what, what do you need from me to help make that happen? Right. Mm -hmm. Something along those lines. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Is this something that you even want? Being curious. What do you think about that? It would feel incredible to spend some more time together. What do you think about that? See what he does, right? So this isn't about trying to steer things in the direction you want. Not that you're doing this, but I hear this a lot. Yeah. You know, um, It's not about how do I make him call me more? How do I make him see me more? It's I am expressing this because this is who I am. I am an open, vulnerable, feminine woman who's comfortable with my desires, confident enough to express them. And then I'm going to see what you do with that information. You know, yeah. does he step up or not? That is great information for you to have quickly, Love right? Love it. Okay. Great question from Corinne. What if he's been very upfront about not wanting a relationship because he's focused on goals, but his actions are more relationship type actions sometimes. Do I just let him come around if he does? Yeah, I get questions like this all the time. I'd say believe him. He says he doesn't yeah. want a relationship. Believe him. Um, when his words and actions don't line up, I always say watch his actions unless he's flat out telling you that he doesn't want a relationship. Yeah. Believe him. Don't get stuck on him. Just, yeah. you know, keep moving forward towards your vision. If he yes. comes around, um, great. If you're just waiting for him and just endlessly just trying to like hope that things that, you know, one day will change, it's never going to work for you. So just keep moving forward and believe him. I would say, Chelsea, Agreed. what do you think? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Like trust a man, trust what he says. Um, when it's around not wanting a relationship, wanting yeah. to focus oh, on yeah. his goals, like that's, yeah, 
Yeah. Because mm -hmm. just because a guy doesn't want a relationship, doesn't want commitment right now, doesn't mean he won't take everything you have to offer. He's probably still loves, you know, companionship yeah. and feminine energy and um, probably likes you and is happy to spend time with you. But what happens in situations like this, every time you see him, you get more invested, you get more mm -hmm. attached typically mm -hmm. as the woman. And you're yeah. hoping that someday things will change kind of on a subtle level, but he's just right where he was the whole time. And he's like, I yeah. told her I didn't want a relationship. So we don't yeah. want you in that situation. Um, Val did a follow-up question. What to say if you have that conversation and it turns out you're not on the same page? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, Chelsea. I mean, it's yeah. a good thing to know, right? That's yeah, why it's, it's important to be straightforward about these things. Exactly. It's like, honestly, the sooner you have these conversations, these important truth-telling conversations, the, the better because you're saving yourself so much time. Mm -hmm. So let's say he says something to you about, like that, that isn't in alignment with what you want or what you need, I would say be brutally, not brutally, be vulnerably honest about like, yeah, that, that's, de that's definitely not what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like just be honest, give him the opportunity, I guess, to like, see if he can pivot, see if he can change things in his life to make it work. But don't, don't wait, you know, don't stay in that relationship. I would say, you know, yeah. unless he's clearly making commitments that are going to change and then, yeah. yeah, then you get to decide, are you going to accept this or not? It's like, yeah. accept it 100% how it is right now. If he's, yeah. you know, saying it's going to change or reject the whole thing and move on, make yourself available to what you truly want. Right. She also loved, this is what I need to feel secure. That script you gave Chelsea is so good. Um, okay. Amal says I'm dating a man for two months who is not calling me as often as I would like him to. He told me it's because he's too busy with work. How could I tell him that I'm not happy with this? You know, two months he's too busy with work to call you. I don't know that this might yeah. not be the right guy for you. I've just yeah. um, posted a few videos on what to do if you're interested in a busy man. And a lot of times yeah. guys say they're busy, but they're just not all that interested or they're not motivated to get into a relationship with you. Is this yeah. guy motivated to be that empowered masculine man for you and meet your needs and make you happy? Doesn't sound like it, but Chelsea, yeah. what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I think those early days are really telling and it's great because you're not attached yet. Like you don't know him well enough. Hopefully, you know, you haven't been physically intimate yet. Like like you're you're in a good position to find this out early on so that you can end it and move on and date other people, you know, until you find someone who is a match for what you're yes. looking for. So Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um sorry. I all these questions just popped up. This happens all the time. So <laughs> I'm just going to have to take the ones that are is just a lot of questions in the chat right now, but we're loving oh. these. This is really great. So Cynthia says, "What if he doesn't like discussing the future?" Great question. Ooh. I mean, I don't know. Do you want to be with a guy who doesn't <laughs> like discussing the future? I certainly wouldn't. That wouldn't feel good to me. It would feel like I'm investing in something, you know, without knowing yeah. whether or not we're on the same page. Chelsea, what do you, you think? Yeah. Like you get to claim what feels good and what doesn't feel good. Like you get you, this is that piece about you get to be at peace with your desire. Right. So rather than being like, Oh God, like I shouldn't feel uncomfortable that he doesn't want to talk about that. Like something's wrong with me. Like mm -hmm. let's stop mm -hmm. that and be like, no, no, no. I know my vision and i get to be with someone who has that same vision so like take it take it seriously of what he's saying you know and let that be a deciding factor for you yeah a same um, situation here from bianca my boyfriend doesn't like thinking about the future he said he doesn't know what an ideal relationship is for him we're happy together but i don't want to lead the relationship yeah this is where what we shared in three or four might be helpful like if you're yeah. at a place where you're really, I don't know how old you are or what you're, what you're looking for, but if you really want to get married and start a family within the next few years, I mean, that might be good information for you to know rather than just, you know, I don't want to say wasting time because, you know, mm -hmm. um, but getting more invested, getting more attached in a relationship yeah. where you don't really know. I mean, if you're in your twenties and you're in college and you just want to have a boyfriend and have fun, great. But I know right. a lot of women on my channel are really looking for that lifelong partnership and they don't want to spend five years just dating a guy who doesn't yeah. really want the same thing. Right. Yeah. They're like, as for as many women as there are who want committed relationship and want to start a family and all that, there's that many men who want oh, yeah. the same thing. Mm -hmm. So like not to get hung up on this guy who doesn't even know what an ideal relationship is or doesn't like thinking about the future. That's, to me, that's not empowered masculine energy that we're all here on this channel looking for, right? Yeah. So 
Can you hear and, me okay, Chelsea, by yeah. the way? Okay, can I keep adjusting my mic because oh. I, but yeah, I can hear you great. Okay. I'm just, I always, okay. sometimes the mic just changes a little bit and it changes the sound. I totally okay. agree with what you said. I think it's yeah. great. Um, here's a question from Caitlin. What if a guy keeps talking to you and flirting, but plans never fall through? I think follow through follow. is what she means. Mind you, this is an ex together five years, broke up over five years I ago. I think she knows the answer. Yeah. Caitlin, I think you know the answer. Yeah. Watch his yeah. actions, right? Are his actions telling you that this is a man who is motivated to be that empowered man for you, get into a relationship, yeah. you know, lock you down, make sure that you are his forever. It doesn't seem like it if plans keep following through, falling through, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, I'm dating someone for the past three months. That is really sweet. We had a conversation about what we want last month, but I recently discovered he's updated his dating profile. He still talks to me as usual. How do I bring up what's going on in his mind and what future he envisions with us? If there this, is one, love it. Yeah, this is totally Chelsea. number wait number three. How to bring this up if you're dating a man and have no idea whether you're on the same page. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like um, so I'd love to know like what your ideal situation is. I'd love to know like what you're what you're looking for. Um, it feel really good to know whether or not we're on the same page. Like mm -hmm. just so unattached, so neutral, just curious, open-minded, and then let's see if he's honest, right? If like you're seeing one thing on his profile and he's saying another, like that's a red flag, right? So give yeah. him the opportunity to be honest because I think a lot of times people are just assuming that they know where the other person is at when if there's been no conversation, don't ever assume anything. So yeah. have that conversation as quickly as possible is my advice. Yeah, exactly. Um, the question from Giselle, what if he knows I want to be a wife one day? He says, yes, but not now. <laughs> Again, it depends. Are you like, is this something that you want within the next couple of years? You know, you could say yeah. it would, um, you know, do you need to know Giselle and everybody who's in this situation, what the timeline is for him? If you do, I say, ask mm -hmm. that. I say, yeah, you know, it's good to know what timeline you see for that because I need to make yeah, sure that yeah, I'm yeah. not investing in a situation that's not going anywhere. Um, what do you think, yeah. Chelsea? What yeah, would you and I, depending on the level of intimacy and how long you've been together, I feel like it's also okay to say something like, I'd love to know what you have planned for us. Like, yeah, I love that. You know, isn't that mm -hmm. cute and flirty? And like, because if, especially mm -hmm. in, in this, that's really for this specific situation. He, he, yeah, he's saying yes one day, like, oh, what do you have planned for us? What do you have in mind around that? <laughs> and see, yeah. Yes, love that. Yeah, um, you know, don't just keep, go if this is, you know, if you're okay with, yeah, not now, we'll just see how things go again. If you're like younger yeah. and you're not really like looking for all this to happen within the next few years, then if it feels good to go along with it, great. But if you're asking that, I think you would, you probably want to know what he sees, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> For the two of you. Um, okay. Let's see. There's so many questions popping up. Um, so, okay. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Yes. Okay. Um, here's, we'll take this last one from Aaron. I know we're running out of time here, getting back together, starting all over with my boyfriend, treating like him like a new man. He says he loves spending time, but I don't feel pursued or like he's locking me down like before. I think he assumes um, any thoughts? Oh, we wanted yeah. to actually talk about that. Maybe as like a sixth um, situation, uh, people getting back into a relationship, right? Um, yeah, but I want to hear your thoughts. Okay, okay. getting back together, treating him like a new man. He says he loves spending time, but I don't feel pursued like he's locking me down. Yeah, if he assumes, right? You don't want to just assume. You could say, hey, you know, it's um, these past couple weeks or months, however long you've been dating him the second time around have felt amazing. And it would feel really good to know, um, you know, whether you're, we're on the same page, you know, or what yeah. your intentions are. Do you what your um, intentions are. see us getting back together? Is, are we just kind of hanging out and having fun? Um, you want to know the, the thing about getting back together is it's kind of like, um, I don't want to say go slow to go fast, but you, you already kind yeah. of know what the deal is. So he does, he's probably not going to need to date you for six months to figure out, you know, you, you've already been in a relationship with him. So is he trying to get back together or not? I think just asking that in a really straightforward way, it's like, feels great being with you. And it would feel good to know, you know, whether or not we have the same vision for our relationship or yeah. are we just hanging out and having fun. That's good information yeah. to know, right? Yeah, perfect. I love that. Okay, um, great, great, great. Let's see. Um, I can't see these until I put them up. So I'm just, <laughs> we'll just take this as the last one. We're like way over uh, what we, we said we were gonna do 30 minutes, but this is so fun. Um, <laughs> 
Also, like the last time he pulled away was April. We were supposed to spend the weekend together. Then all of a sudden he disappeared. So I let it go. And now I hear from him, I think. So I will go and have a drink with him. But how do I go about the conversation as soon as I want to get off again? This is not good for me. Yeah, if he disappeared, he's like capable of doing that and just leaving you hanging. That would be a huge red flag for me. You know, yeah. maybe let him know. I felt a little confused when we were supposed to spend the weekend together and I didn't hear from you. It felt confusing to have plans and then not hear from you or not have those yeah. follow up. Um, is there something I should know? Is this just kind of how you are? This yeah. is something I need to accept or did something happen? I uh, would feel good yeah. to know what happened there because I felt a little confused. And don't just let yeah. that slide and keep hanging out with him, right? You got to put right. that out there, right, Chelsea? I totally agree. Yeah, I would definitely be put, be put off <laughs> immediately if someone disappeared. Yeah. Like that yeah. is a huge red flag. But if something, if your intuition's telling you to like have this drink with him, even if it's just for your own closure, I say, go do it without any expectations, but do it with that honesty. Like what, what Helene, exactly what Helena said, I think was good. Yeah. yeah. Don't just like go, okay. Yeah. I'll hang out that like you're kind of training him that he can do that again. And you'll just, you know, take him back and hang out with him again. So, all right, we'll end with that one. Thank you guys so much for participating and asking your questions and comments. That was helpful. Your answer to Giselle. Um, you guys are so sweet. I'm starting to lose my voice already. <laughs> In the middle of the day. For the 150 people watching live, don't forget yeah. to like the video. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know your answer to the question. What are you looking for? That's what I want to hear from mm. everyone who's watching the replay. I would love to hear that. I think it would be helpful for yeah. everyone to see. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. And Chelsea, what else do you have to say about the magnetic mentorship circle, circle or this topic yes. or anything else before we close out? Oh my gosh. We're just so excited to welcome you into this space. Like this, what we just did together is just like a glimpse of the kind of intimacy and support that we offer in that space. And like the sisterhood, the community, it's just, it's really indescribable. So if you're feeling that intuitive pull towards this space, like click the link, join us today while you can save that $100 um, and before spots fill up. And the beautiful thing here is like, you, you, as soon as you feel complete, you can leave, you know, it's month to month, like mm -hmm. you don't, having an opportunity like that with us is really, really rare and special. And so we're just, we're so happy to offer this to you and can't wait to connect with you guys on yeah. our upcoming calls for September. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, just to clarify, this is the only way to work with me personally. You guys know I don't do private coaching yeah. anymore. I haven't for a long time. Um, if you want to get personally coached by both Chelsea and I in real time, we'll talk to you. We'll open up your line. If you you know want to actually speak with us, we also have yeah. a live chat. It's so much fun. You get access to our core curriculum. And then if you yeah. join today, you'll lock in that hundred dollars off. And yes. you can leave anytime, right? It's no yeah. long-term commitments. You can just come get what you need <laughs> when you yeah. feel complete that you can cancel. Um, it's so fun. It's my favorite thing I've ever done. I love Aww. talking with you guys, working with you personally. So um, thank you guys so much, Chelsea. This was amazing. And we'd love to hear how these conversations go for you guys. Go um, mm. talk to talk to the men and come back and let us know <laughs> how it goes. We love hearing about how things go yeah. for you. So yeah, have a great rest of the week and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Hopefully, Chelsea, thank you so yeah. much. This was great. Thank you. Okay. Bye guys. Bye.